there are different reasons that publishers adopt the visors. Uh, in the case of Impact Visor, it might be a publisher has a sense that they need to change something about the program, or it, a new editor comes in, and a new editor wants to say, what's going on? And I want data. I don't want to just talk to my buddies about how they feel about the journal. I want to know what's really happening. And that could be what's really happening in citation terms, what's really happening in usage terms, social engagement, and so on. So sometimes it'll be a change of a publisher, uh, I'm sorry, change of uh, an editor uh, at a journal, uh, or it could be a decision that uh, we have some new competitors uh, and they are, they're capturing some of the, the really good papers. We'd like to investigate that. We'd like to know more about what's going on there. It could be a decision or at least a curiosity, should we launch a new journal? Uh, do we have papers coming in now that we're rejecting from one journal that might be good enough to start another journal. And the rejected article tracker can let you look essentially at your, at your inventory uh, and see what its strength is. Even though you're rejecting the papers, you might be rejecting them be for all sorts of reasons. It might not be exactly in scope for the journal you have, but they could be in scope for a new journal that uh, you could start up. The Visor platform allows analysis of data over time, particularly around impact factor error and citations. And we believe we're the only source in the marketplace right now that can give you the ability to look at citations performance over time uh, and that you can slice on a per year basis um, and actually in a per month basis um, how a particular journal is performing or an article is performing. And you could look at it at an article level, a journal level, or a, uh, a publisher level. So you can summarize the data up and down based upon the analysis that you're doing. There's almost too much data out there. Uh, but the problem that we heard from uh, our customers uh, when we were starting to configure the Visor platform uh, is that uh, there were several basic problems with all the data that was out there. Uh, one was that it was not integrated in any way with the, the way you think about your publishing program. You as an editor or you as a publisher think about your publishing program. So for example, uh, data on citations might talk about original articles and review articles, and that's it. But you may want to divide your uh, original articles into subject categories and look and be able to slice and dice based on your subject categories, but that isn't the way the data comes from the main data sources. So we put the data together. So that, to me, says a key uh, value uh, of the Visor platform is integration of data. Uh, the second uh, thing that we heard from people really strongly is that uh, the, the data that's out there is just not very timely. So if we have a publishing decision to make, we have an editorial board meeting coming up next month, and we need to know something about uh, how does this uh, type of content perform. Uh, we don't want to use year-old data, and we can't wait for next year's data. And the data that comes from the, the standard sources is very often uh, annual uh, kinds of data, just like the impact factor comes out. Uh, only once a year. So the second key thing was, was to make the data much more timely. Uh, and then the third uh, that we found was that the, the data that people were working with was very tabular. Uh, you would get large uh, tables uh, printed out sometimes, other times in spreadsheets. And so you, you really had just masses of data and what we do is apply a visual layer to it so that you can uh, pretty easily see the patterns in the data. I think the Visor platform is a, a really powerful tool that will allow a publisher to shine a very bright light into the dark corners of their performance and will allow conversations to happen at a different level of specificity that's been happening in the past.